What's up, YouTube? This EXO coming at you here on this extra cold morning, and holy crap, I can barely hold the camera still. It's so damn cold. So I figured today, well, it would be no better day than to bring you guys through the question that I've been getting most this winter season so far, and that is, should you base, should you bump your system when it's cold outside? Now, I've made a video about this uh, quite a while ago, but I figured I'd just bring you guys through uh, my whole journey since today I am gonna be bumping some bass in the cold. For starters, I have got my door already all closed up with a space heater inside. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but my heater core is broken, so I had to make sure my ambient temperature was up to snuff. Because as you guys know, when things get cold, materials contract. And that goes the same for our subwoofer surrounds and other materials used in the suspension, like spiders and stuff like that. So I went ahead and crammed up the, uh, oh crap, is that unplugged? Dang it. But I went ahead and crammed that in there to bring the temperature, you know, above freezing. So right now we're at 26.4 degrees. Earlier we were at 20 degrees. You wouldn't want to be having like negative degree temperatures or below freezing and then go whale on it. I mean, that can create a lot of problems, including um, condensation problems, which actually let's go ahead and get into that. Say if, uh, you know, it gets really cold overnight and then warms back up. You see over here, it kind of stays cold, so I don't have to worry so much about that. But a lot of the times, amplifiers can sweat because of a dew point becoming a little more dangerous. So what you got to do is just make sure that you get the ambient temperature slowly acclimated to the rest of what's going on here. Then you won't have much condensation build up, not so much sweating going on. The cold weather actually makes my voltage pretty damn decent, so it's not so bad on my AGM batteries. They perform really well. And uh, it, it, the really only thing that's really bad for batteries is going from extremely high temperatures to extremely low, extremely high. And uh, that disparity can actually, um, you can lose longevity in the battery. So that's not a very good thing. So let's close this up. So we've talked about condensation, about materials, you know, uh, becoming more firm when they contract in the cold weather. And uh, lastly, oh, I guess we could talk about base knobs and potentiometers. All these little knobs right here have lubrication inside, so when you turn them, they can sometimes freeze, like, almost completely on you. They use them, you know, in everything. I got potentiometers up the yin-yang over here. I know, it's really messy, guys. Winter hiatus, don't go, don't get crazy on me, I'm doing all sorts of shit. Besides that, guys, you know, really just getting your ambient temperature to be a little more appropriate between what's going on around you, that's gonna save you some gear, uh, you know, the... These surrounds, even though it's a hybrid foam, they're still going to contract when it gets real, real cold. So having that restriction isn't necessarily going to be an advantage when you go and wail on it if you don't prepare. So that's pretty much all. That's pretty much it, guys. You can definitely safely jam your system in the wintertime. It's just a matter of taking preparations to do so and uh, just being responsible. So let's go ahead and shut this door and wait for it to get... A little bit warmer in there. I don't want to be doing anything crazy. Now, I'll be honest, sometimes it does give me a little grief uh, with a cold start. So we're just going to try this first try. I'm going to give a little, little gas here. Sometimes it revs up pretty high. There she goes. She'll come down in a second though. Oh, you come for me. All that bullshit is upon me. Smoking gas ain't no tumbleweed. All of this cash, that's another thing. Another thing. Black and yellow like a bumblebee. bumblebee. Uh, fuck it, I want me a billion. Fuck it, I want me a billion. Fuck it, I want me a billion. Don't get it, don't get it, don't get it. All right, so here we are at the new spot I just found. As you can see, the truck has just been tearing it apart this season. If I didn't do what you see here, I wouldn't even be able to have anything functioning up here. My lights would flash. I know it looks really like shit, but I had to do it. 34 degrees, right there, about. Everything's above freezing. Let's go ahead and give it some volume. I have a song all queued up. Just out of war, baby. Now the top is our son, baby. Put it on the treadmill and then I'll make a run, baby. Alright guys, as you can see, we were checking out the spiders while it was moving, even though the temperatures were pretty cold this morning, no adverse effects on us right now, so I'm pretty happy, and we are at a 53, de oh this damn focus, ah, 53 degrees right there, definitely increasing throughout the little plays here, I've only done a few songs.
crap youtuber they say you can see she's hitting just as good as always freaking sounding great even though we're at sub w <laughs> I think that about does it for today. I just wanted to get a little bit of bumping in and show you guys that it is possible to have fun when it's really, really cold outside. My hands are freaking numb right now, but the amps, I bet, are loving it. Nice and cold for them. Nice little 3500s. So, until the next video, this is EXO getting cold and signing out. Hi -yi 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 -yi.